I'm glad they said that. Now they know I'm going to expose them next week. Yeah, well, first of all, they issued a statement saying we lowballed them, we're messing them around. Then I told you guys that I'm going to expose them next week. And then they come out and went, oh, actually, it was our fault. So don't worry, you'll see next week. But they're going to go into hiding for a few days. Not yet, no. I thought it was OK. But I'm expecting excellence from Anthony Sims. And I just thought it was a decent performance. What do you see I thought he was a bit flat. I think he needs to be tested in a proper fight. I want him to fight Rocky Fielding. Do they? Sometimes I'm boxing off fighters too often. So he spent a lot of his career inactive. He didn't box for a year. And now I'm probably making him too active because that's what we do. So every now and again a fighter just needs to take two or three months off, just recharge their body, try and get rid of that flatness. And maybe that was the problem. But I, I will talk to him and see why he was flat tonight. Eddie, uh, tonight, next to you, John Ryder, he'll be in the ring next yeah, weekend. Yeah, Bilal Akwa, it's uh, a great fight. Correct. Yeah. Uh, obviously, the new fight fell off, but the Bilal fight is a great fight. Really good fight. Can you talk to us a little bit, about, a little bit about that and how you expect your fighter to perform? I think it's a, it's a war. I think Atwell is all action. I don't think he has the ring craft of someone like a, a Lemieux or a John Ryder. But it's going to be lively early on, and then I think John Ryder's going to take control and stop him late on in the fight. Many times you hear something, you read to something, you don't know if it's How did you get there? You were there a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, the angle yeah. moved. I mean, a better yeah. shot. Thanks for noticing. Uh, King Kong Ortiz, is it true you offered him five and he turned it down? That's a lot of money. I offered him more than that, my friend, and you'll find out next week. But why would someone put it out there that they turned it down? So it's not well, true. But then when I told them I'm going to expose them, they said, oh, actually, yeah, they did, and, you know. But don't worry, because I'm sick and tired of people trying to pretend that Anthony Joshua is the one ducking fights. When these guys are the ones that are shit scared of Anthony Joshua, some people are even sticking needles in their ass to try and beat Anthony Joshua. So, you know. What I was say that the heavyweights are lined up to get this fight with the opportunity in it. But that's why, that's, why the per, that's why the person that I'm going to pick is someone that I believe thinks they can win this fight and will do everything to win this fight, rather than just saying, how much is it? You know, or how much is it? And then thanks, and then let me just stick every drug in my body to try and be superhuman on the night to beat Anthony Joshua. So if you can't beat him fair and square, don't even bother. But don't fight him for the money. Fight him for the world heavyweight title because you think you can win. And there's a couple of people out there that I think have that mindset. And they're the ones I want because I don't want to go to Madison Square Garden and watch him bowl someone over in a round. I want to see him in a war. I want to see someone trying to take his head off legally. Do we have an opponent for Callum Smith? Uh, he'll be yeah, that'll be announced next week. We, we're just finalising it this weekend. Callum Smith will be defending his, his world title on the card as well. And Katie Taylor will be in an undisputed fight. And there'll be three or four other fights that will be announced. Championship fights as well. When can we see Tevin Farmer back? Um, PBC, well, the problem with Tevin Farmer is... We have spoke yeah. on uh, Javante mm. uh, coming to Baltimore in July. Mm. Do you think that we can make that fight happen at the end of this year? I'd like to think so. I mean... Um, We've got a mandatory, Guillaume Fremois, the Frenchman. So the problem is with Tevin, I've been boxing him about every four or five weeks. So he's blowing up my phone saying, oh, you know, I haven't boxed for a month. So I wanted him to have a little rest. I think he'll be out in July and we're just working on a date for him at the moment. And then there's no reason why that fight can't happen. Listen, they can do it on Showtime if they want. It's not a problem. Just pay him the money that I'd pay him and we'll, we'll get it done. So uh, there's been talks that a major reason as to why Luis Ortiz turned down the offer was because he was offered more for a Wilder rematch later this year. Well, if he is, fucking congratulations, my friend. And also, I've just seen a pig fly across the forum. It was unbelievable. Um, I'll tell you next week what Luis Ortiz was offered for that fight. And it, I better hope, for Luis Ortiz's sake and his kids and their kids' sake, that it's as much money that they're going to get for this supposed Deontay Wilder fight. And are you really telling me that you've already been offered and guaranteed the Deontay Wilder fight, yet this man and their team are talking about, oh, Joshua doesn't want the undisputed fight, and you've set up two fights for Deontay Wilder already after the Dominic Brazil fight. That's how serious they are about the Anthony Joshua Is fight. Is Luis Ortiz the boogeyman or, or... Is he the boogeyman? Joshua would destroy Luis Ortiz. Three rounds, no problem. And I'll tell you what, if Luis Ortiz wants to do it after... June 1, no problem. We'll sign a contract to do that as well. Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury. Oh, in the running? Uh, I think Michael Hunter's a tough fight. I think Andy Ruiz is a good fight. Trevor Bryan's in the rigs. I don't think he has the, the pedigree 
to be honest, for that fight and that occasion. But Don King's phoning me a million times a day, and maybe I'll just give in one day as well. Um, that's I think you know those those guys those those three really I think are in the mix. Yes. No, I don't think I think Hunter would be extremely awkward. I think he's an excellent talent. I think he's a good mover. I think it would be a tough, awkward fight for Joshua. I think Andy Ruiz would come and give it everything, swing those fast hands, try and throw bombs, and I think he would get knocked out. I do, but I think it would be sensational, and I think Joshua would have to come through certain storms. You know, he doesn't look it, but he's very fit. He's just coming off a win, and he believes he can win. You know, and I want someone that thinks they can win. Someone that rather goes, if you just, if you give me this much, I'll take it. I'm not interested in that. I, I know you've got to get as much money as you can, but come to win, because it's a life-changing moment. The World Heavyweight Championship at Madison Square Garden. You know, that's something you dream of. So is Hunter still in the Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you happen to see Ruiz's fight last Yeah, I thought he looked good. So after the fight, he said that if he were to get the fight, he would get back in the gym that same He's already in the gym. He's already in the gym waiting. We're speaking to his team. It's not done yet. There's things to be done. There's contracts to be finalised. But he is a, he's a strong contender for this fight. Absolutely fine. He's tra- He's ultimate pro. He's impressed me so much. You know, he's he stood by. I phoned. He hasn't even asked me. I phoned him. You know, it's been nearly I think it's eight days or nine days since. You know, it's, I would have liked to announce it a couple of days ago, but it won't be long.